Hello, this is Steve Hobart here. Just to give you a quick introduction to Surf Plus and how to get it started, how to work it. So we're in Isom Surf. We need to have Isom Surf open, and we want to be able to use Surf Plus so we can use hotkeys on things like shading and zoom and so forth. So first of all, we click on the icon for Surf Plus and we can see it's a very simple menu we only need really to bother with the edit um, edit hotkeys if you want to change the hotkeys but just to see what the hotkeys look like so we can go into the hotkey menu here and you can see we've got various hotkeys in this column in this fourth column here so we've got alt control shift hotkeys then the functions and then variants so functions are all the item serve functions Hotkeys are whatever you want to specify along with the Alt, Control, Shift keys. And variants are for things like display variants where we want to give it a particular name. And so if we look at this shade on off, for example, the first function here, we've set a hotkey of S, which is fairly logical. So when we press S, that will give us um, shading on and off. And I'll show you that in a minute. So we can then um, we scroll down and we've got auto min max we've set here as alt and z but notice the third one last view i've kept as f3 which is the standard isom position for that and i'm so used to using that that i've decided to keep f3 so you can mix hotkeys alphanumeric hotkeys with the function keys so if you wanted to keep all the function keys in there that you've currently used, you can do that. There's no harm in doing that. This is just the default setting, which the user is free to modify. I mentioned variants. So if we look down here, for example, in to display variants. So we've got display variants here where the, where the dot, dot, dot represents a display variant. And in my case, I've got these display variants. So these are my particular names that I use for display variants, but you'll have your own. So you would have you've got the ability to put in five different display variants here with whatever names you choose to set them. So these names must be the same as in your display uh, display menu inside isomserve. So if I just open up my display variant menu for a second, let's just get that out of the way, um, you'll see that I've got control 005 for example. We go back to the menu there, we've got control 005, wire 005, no edge shade only and shade wire. So they've got to be the same as that. Of course you don't have to have all of them in there. There might be some more in there that you don't want on hotkeys. That's fine. Um, at the moment we're just limited to five. The numbers there are user specifiable. So I could change that to um, eight if I wanted to. Whatever's convenient. Obviously one, two, three and four and five are very handy. And we've also got the same thing. So with variants, I've also got planes. So with my planes, I've got Alt and 1, Alt and 2, etc. For planes called 1 to 5. But again, you'll have your own plane set up, standard planes. I don't have those planes in all models, of course. But if I use those numbers, then it's very easy to use this, reuse these hotkeys every time I go into a new model. If those are my planes that I want to to set up then I can easily access them with Alt 1 etc etc. So once we're happy with that we can save that and we go back to our start menu and we simply press start and we come into ISOM. Initially when you first start off you will have to do Windows preferences and you will have to restore the user preferences which I'm not going to do because that's where the these values have been set um, in later versions of the software you will have to do a restore and then go and find surf under bar plus as the user preference file. Once we've done that then we are, we can now use the hotkey so as I mentioned S was for shading so there's S shade on shade off. I mentioned that 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are various display variants so if I click on 1 that's what I get wireframe different sort of wireframe on 2. 3 was my no edges which is basically nothing at all 4 is shading and 5 is shading with control points switched on. So you can switch those on and off as you want. And of course you can combine that with shading as you would normally with the function keys. 
as I say, some of my functions like F6, F7, F8, I've kept those as the default um, original view, mirrored view and symmetry view as in original isomsurf. Where we've got move functions, they these are arranged, let's go back to our menu here, so we want to find the move function. So where it says search functions, you can just put in move or some part of the name, it doesn't have to be move, you can just put mov in there and that will come up with all the functions that have the word move in. And you can see modify rotate is shift and R, shift and T for translate, S scale, Z strangely enough mirror because I wanted to put the keys close together so Z is very close at hand, M is a long way away so that one's a bit of an exception. I've put that as Z rather than M, wasn't using it for anything else. Global extrapolate G, dynamic D, two planes two and ex normal extrapolate or the old extrapolate as shift and E so all fairly logical. So if we go into here you can see how that works so if I hit shift and T and pick a surface I'm straight into the translate menu. If I pick rotate again I can go and rotate if I want to pick scale I'm in there. Um, control X is, uh, control Z was a weird one in that that's mirror and control D is dynamic so there I can move them, model around dynamically. That in a nutshell is Surf Plus. One other feature that I've added is the ability to, once you've got several menus open, it's a bit of a pain having to go and click on the crosses every time. So Alt and X will close all your menus down. There we are. I hope you enjoy using it.